Hi everyone, this is Bidyasaka Salam from Pace Media and in this video I want to talk about Entrance Animation. Here you can select any widget, column or section and go to advanced section and you can find motion effects here. Motion effects in the Entrance Animation you can uh, choose any of the available in trans animations so yeah this uh, call it motion effects or in trans animations in instead of in trans animation i want to call it scrolling animation yeah this in trans animation is more useful in scrolling scrolling animation as yes, scrolling animation so this is good this animation in trans animation or motion effects is good it can make our web pages be become alive but uh, too much animation is not good because uh, these animations will compromise the site performance or ps speed of your website yeah it can uh, it slows down it delays page loading so I recommend against using uh, this entrance animation on 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 the first section of your web design here in mainly in the hero section or or the or the portion where you can see once website is loaded here in this portion in this screen portion it's uh, this portion uh, you should try to make it loaded fast because this is the first thing that everyone sees when your website URL is loaded. So uh, don't try to compromise the loading of this portion. So I recommend against using entrance animation on this portion. But you can use entrance animation when you scroll down. Here you can add some entrance animation when you scroll down. To make your website more interactive or uh, here for example we can add uh, here I will add entrance animation on this column motion effects entrance animation uh, fed in left okay so like this and here in this motion effects fed in right like this okay uh, and here let's let this column motion effects mm, slide in slide in up okay like this okay let's you can try any of these entrance animations according to your preference or suitable to the design Slightly enough, okay. Motion effects. Slightly enough, okay. Now let's check it out. Okay. Now this is loaded. Okay. Well, when you scroll down, yeah, as you can see, this thing. Uh, slide enough but you can uh, show it properly so let's change the setting animation duration yeah animation duration is important we cannot see so the entrance animation or scroll animation properly because it's uh, like uh, it's act animated too fast so let's slow down animation is slow like this Okay, same here too. Animation is slow. Same here. Animation is slow. Okay, let's update. And okay, as you can see, you can see the animation, but uh, they acted at the same time. So yeah. We cannot see uh, the entrance animation properly, uh, so let's let them slide 
uh, let them animate in different speed or different time so let's edit it here animation delay let this let this by default but let let's delay this some uh, about 500 mega uh, um, milliseconds and this about 1000 milliseconds okay now let's scroll down you, as you can see there is some difference when they slide up so it makes it um, animated better it looks nicer yeah, instead of let them animate at the same time uh, they animated in consecutive in timeline in animated in a timeline yeah in the in a time frame it must look nicer it's much better yeah yeah this is how you use this motion effect uh, editing or setting options here there are three options to edit one is for types of animation second is animation uh, duration is low is uh, normal fast there are three options and this animation delay animation delay is comparative or, or relative yeah relative to the fast animation here in this uh, section fast animation fast not fast fast uh, fast animation is this column uh, this uh, uh, delay zero millimeter second but in this column we set delay for 500 milliseconds and in this column we set 1000 millisecond delays uh, this is not a fixed uh, setting value you can change the value you can adjust it according to your needs or suitable to your design yeah yes this now i have shown you the way for the setting of this given setting values in trans animation type animation duration animation delay and i have also talked about where to use and when to use and why you should use this in trans animation or motion effects first i suggest against using entrance animation too much on the web, web page because it will compromise side performance second i recommend or i suggest against using entrance animation uh, in the first section or first portion where you can see when the page is loaded and uh, yes and try to animate the columns or sections with the uh, widgets in different time frame or different speed so it will look it will look nicer yeah that's all about i want to today i want to talk today and motion effect settings and uses and if you have any doubt doubt or questions please don't hesitate to leave a comment below and i hope this my this short video is somewhat helpful in your web design uh, it maybe you design your you design your website yourself or you design for your own cli your clients i hope this is helpful and please like this video and subscribe my youtube channel and please support me encourage me so that i can continue making such short videos about elementary design or other page builders or for wordpress joomla or drupal any uh, according to your needs or demands requests uh, especially uh, most of these popular cms content management systems uh, yeah thanks for watching and enjoy